Hey, good morning. It's Bob Webster, Keith Real Estate in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. It is Wednesday, June 15th. Wanted to uh, just follow up uh, to a recent um, conversation that we had uh, regarding a question about the uh, average days on market. Uh, a question that a lot of sellers uh, will ask um, in, in terms of uh, placing their property on the market and uh, what kind of expectations to have. In that uh, video or that discussion, I mentioned that uh, uh, often looking at the average doesn't really uh, tell uh, the, the full picture or in many cases um, doesn't, uh, doesn't give a very accurate uh, um, idea as to um, what, uh, what the time frame could be for the property selling, uh, just that the average could be uh, off considerably. Um, a related question and something that uh, also comes up frequently is uh, sellers will ask what the average list to sell ratio is um, regarding properties that uh, that sell um, as uh, as opposed to their original asking price. Um, much of what we talked about in the other video applies to this question as well. Uh, depends on what area you look at, um, whether you look at an entire uh, county perspective, a particular municipality or subdivision. Um, also depends on uh, the type of property uh, criteria that you use, whether you're using all property types, um, just residential, condo, single family, uh, vacant, uh, that type of thing. Um, my feeling is is that that average list to sell ratio can can be even more misleading than the average days on market. And, and let me uh, briefly tell you why. The That final figure, that percentage of sales price to asking price, number one, it's going to be uh, influenced uh, probably more than anything else uh, based on uh, whether there were any price adjustments done to the property. Statistically, we know that a property that has a price reduction uh, done um, is is typically going to sell closer to the asking price than one that doesn't. I mean, that's just kind of common sense. However, the other factor that's involved is um, it depends how quickly the property sells. Again, back to that same situation with the average days on market. Um, a property that sells within the first week or the first few weeks, uh, statistically, most likely is going to sell closer or there's going to be a, a higher list to sell ratio than, for example, a home or a property that could be on the market for, say, six months or a year or longer. Um, typically, that's going to have a lower list to sell ratio. So, again, uh, the takeaway to this is that um, if a seller were to ask the question, um, what can I expect in, in terms of that percentage or the average to, uh, to take off of my asking price? If they used that average answer um, as a way of their pricing strategy, it, it could actually work against them um, in a relatively short time period sales, uh, uh, sales process, and it could be totally inaccurate for a longer sales uh, time uh, especially with no uh, price adjustments that are done. So hope that makes sense. I thought it was a good follow-up to uh, our previous discussion. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email, or go to my website, www.lakegenevaproperty.com. It's Bob Webster in Lake Geneva. I hope you make it a great day.